Hey everyone, I'm Kayla and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my nighttime routine. So I already did my morning routine and I'll link that somewhere up here if you've not seen it. You can go check that out if you don't care, then proceed. <laughs> So in today's video, like I said, I'm going to be doing my nighttime routine. Um, I'm going to be removing my makeup and doing my skincare, things like that. And then I'm also going to be taking out my teeth and showing you how I clean them. Um, like I said, there's two different ways that I do it. Some days I literally just can't. Just getting them out of my mouth and into a cup is a feat for me. So there's days that I, I do do it the lazy way. And then there's the days that I do it the right way, or what I deem is right. So first, I'm gonna take off my makeup. That's where you guys will see this amazing transformation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna get some of the products. I have them behind me so that I don't clutter up my counter. And we're gonna take the makeup off. If you wanna skip ahead to where I take my dentures out and clean them, I will put a timestamp in the description box so you can skip all this girl stuff that's slightly necessary, unnecessary, depends on your view, and you can just watch that part. But if you're interested in watching me turn into the not so glamorous version of myself, then yeah, here we go. Personally, I have been using this stuff that I got at Ulta. This uh, Biore still has a clearance sticker on it. Don't mind the clearance sticker. It's Biore Micellar Water with baking soda. I use this first just to clear off the amount of cake on my face. And sometimes I use this one. I got this, I think, at like Ross. I have no idea. It's like $4. So I'll use Micellar Water to get the makeup off. Okay, I use these little cotton pads. You get them at Walmart. They're basic, like me. And then I soak my eyeball. Oh, we're gonna get way worse before we get better. Trust, trust me. All this rubbing is gonna give me wrinkles. <laughs> We're good. Now that we look delightful, so now that we got the eye makeup off, and that's disgusting. Okay, now we're gonna go for the rest of the face because <laughs> face lives matter. I'm probably going to speed most of this up because it's boring. And because any good makeup artist, they put it down their face. To blend the neck with the face. So you can't tell I'm wearing makeup. Not. Okay. Now that we are looking our very best, I wash my face. So sometimes I wash my face with, I switch up different products. This one is called Pharmacy uh, Green Clean. It's like a solid that melts into like a, an oil essentially. You get the face really clean, but since I use the micellar water, I'm not gonna do that. Today I'm gonna use L'Oreal Age Perfect because I'm getting old. So I need anti-wrinkles. Yeah, we're gonna try to reverse this. Okay guys, this is gonna be boring. So I'm gonna speed this one along as well. Anybody remember that scene <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire? Where he goes, That's how I feel. Now that my face is washed 
and super clean. The next thing I do is lip scrub. I've talked about this a couple times. It's super important. I don't know why, but when you wear dentures, it feels like your lips get dried out like so much faster. This one is called bubble gum. It tastes like bubble gum. It's just a little bit of sugar. I put it on my lip, I rub it, and then it says, take a pea-sized amount, scrub onto your lips, and then lick off the excess. Skincare, you can eat. Thank you, Dill, for your contributions to my lips. Okay, so they're good. I think this is just like sugar and flavor. It's delicious. Definitely try that stuff. This is so good. The next thing I do is tone my face. Tone and exfoliate. I got these um, Dixon's exfoliating pads with witch hazel. So, grab out a little pad, my little pad, and I exfoliate. I also do this in the morning when I'm in the shower, but I'm not going to take you guys in the shower with me. <laughs> Nobody deserves that. Now that I am red, red D. <laughs> My face is exfoliated. The next step in our sip of wonder. I better wait for this to dry. So the next step that I do in my skincare routine is hyaluronic acid. Now this is just anti-wrinkle serum made with Dead Sea Minerals. I bought this from Big lots. It was like four bucks. And I'd like to think it works pretty well. It's got a little dropper in it. I squeeze a little bit up, put it on my hands, and I rub it in. So I'm gonna let that sit in for a minute. Sometimes in the morning uh, when I am getting ready, I will use a vitamin C drop just to give my skin a little bit of extra boost, but I'm not gonna do that today. So the next thing I use is Hyaluronic Acid Anti-Wrinkle Night Cream. So night cream is vital to keeping your skin plump and smooth, which is something that we struggle with with dentures. Um, everybody worries about looking old prematurely. They don't wanna look old. They don't want to have saggy faces and things like that. So skincare is something that is important. <laughs> Hair care too. So I rub that into my face. It feels really nice. You guys are getting the most flattering angles of me. You're welcome. So my, my nighttime cream is setting in at this point. And the next thing I'm going to do is take my teeth out because it's almost time for bed. Flossing, we don't do that. Who needs to floss? My teeth are stuck together. Okay, so the last thing that I do is take out my teeth because I'm not sleeping in them. Some of you can, I am not. I have before, but I am not now. This is my house and I'm queen of this castle so I can do whatever I wanna do. I pay the bills. Boom. All right, so to get my teeth out, um, I have been wearing them since 11 o'clock, which is roughly like 13 hours at this point, and they're still glued in, but they are starting to come undone. So the first thing I do is pop them out by breaking the suction. So by doing that, I stick my thumb behind my front teeth and I push up. Then I do the same thing on the bottom. And they come out easy peasy. That is disgusting. But I'm gonna show you guys the truth. Yeah. So I 
as you can see, there is food and stuff in between the teeth, there's stuff underneath the palate, and there's a whole bunch of adhesive. One question that I hear people asking a lot is how do you get the adhesive out of your denture at night? Now I do have two ways of doing this. One is the right way, one is the lazy way. You have options here. First, I take a paper towel. Okay? I get the good stuff. Viva. Not the cheap stuff, okay? You need something good. And sometimes what I will do if I have time is I will let them sit for about 20 to 30 minutes until the adhesive gets kind of hard. Once the adhesive sets up and gets hard, it's a lot easier to pick it out. But since you just saw me pop them out, I'm gonna show you what happens when they're disgusting and still, you know, break. Now you wanna make sure you have clean hands. Uh, I washed my hands before I started this routine. So what I do is I literally just pick it out. Yep, it's gross. Then I wipe it on my paper towel. Now there's not much left because I've eaten it, I guess, throughout the day. But the next thing I do is, if you have a really good paper towel like these, these are Viva, like I said, you can just go in them and it gets out the disgusting goo and food. You can see that it's coming off on this paper towel. Okay, so the majority of it is off the top palette. I'll do the same thing with the bottom. I really don't like touching this. It kind of yucks me out. But I'm going to do it for you guys. So I got most of the adhesive out. There's still some in there. I'm just rolling it out. You can see it, it does come out. Okay, so that has been used and abused and we can retire it to the truck. The next thing I do is I clean them off with my brush. Uh, I use two brushes, one for the outside, one for the inside. Um, the one brush I use is much too abrasive for the outside of the teeth, and the one is too soft to clean the inside. That makes sense, okay? So the first thing I use is the denture brush that I know and love. I'm gonna quiet this part down, okay? Now, the second thing is I use a baby toothbrush to clean the actual teeth themselves because if you notice, you will get food trapped in all of these crevices. Now, I brush down generally to get the stuff off and then go in circle motions or up, whatever way is easier to kind of just flick the food out or whatever is stuck in there. Most likely food because you eat with your denture. So they are all clean. Inside and outside, there's no adhesive left in them. There was no food left in them. So now they're ready to soak for the night. What I like to do is put hot water in. First, let me get a denture tab. I use the Effortant 
overnight cleanser. Maybe not overnight, I'm not sure. Break open the tab. I will then put my teeth in there and I have to like nestle them inside of each other so that they fit and then I will drop the tablet in. Then I will close it and I will see them in the morning. I tuck them to bed. Good night. See you in the morning. So now as promised, I'm going to show you the second way that I clean my dentures. It is the lazy way. I literally pop them out of my mouth. I rinse them off really quickly. I turn on the water as hot as it can go. I fill up my denture bath. I throw a tab in and put my teeth in and they come out clean every single time. That's the lazy version. So that is how I get my face clean and my teeth clean at the same time. I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you so much for watching, for caring. If you learn anything, that's just such an added bonus to me. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate. You got to enunciate harder with no teeth. I appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, I love you guys. Thank you. And smile bright.